birthday. Hello. Pajama day. Have a super great day. Super great day. You both will Christmas vacation. Yay. Well, I know it, right? Yeah, because I don't like <laughs> You heard it. Uh, it's like about 15. It's about 15. Yeah, two weeks. Y'all like have two weeks. Um, it's a little bit. It's a little bit. No, it's like about 15. So you guys, you guys can't be out of school all the time forever. Right. You guys gotta go to school. Yeah, oh, well, I understand that it's boring, but you know, you guys gotta go. And, and, and that's good that it had a lockdown. Yeah. At this school, we got a lot like 90, years. 90,000 years. 90,000 years. 90,000. You guys won't even be around for 90,000 years. Bitch me folded, what? never that boy Can't lead a kill without the drugs or the gap boy no. If I win this neck, baby Yeah, that's on my back, boy Get ear to the max, boy Finny, that's a fact, boy I'm from a place where it's dark outside The late nights, you can't walk outside Bullets got the names on them Hit you when your homeboys ride As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why Uptown double H, man, it's be the five what? MP in the cut, what? yeah, we get it live Ayy Moses can't go to any hood, but connect Shump could, baby Shump hella good, baby okay, A Fab MPY used to be uh -huh. Pay Street, we was right next to JB yeah. Pop box, not the Pontiac till I couldn't see And it's life that we live, man, it's full of sin So we cope with the pain bottle with a gin Ay, New York brim, fresh corn, red Tim Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim Ay, can't play, boy, never him And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to turn my L's to a hundred. What's up, you guys? Good morning. Happy holidays. Happy New Year's. Good morning. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yo, I woke up feeling so good this morning. First of all, you know, it is um, holiday vacation, Christmas vacation for the kids. So I don't have to go get nobody, but um, I don't have to go get my grandson. So that means I don't have to wake up extra early and bring them to school. But girl, listen, I am still awoke. I woke up. It's now 828. I really did want to be out the house by 815. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm a few minutes late. I'm, I don't have an appointment until 10, 15. Um, but I'm on my way to the gym and I am so happy. Like, listen, for real, y'all don't really even know. Like, um, I don't, like, I'm not so stuffed. Like, listen, okay, I lost eight pounds in a week. And all to listening to one of my gym friends, my gym friends, okay? Because I know her through the gym and we always speak to each other at the gym. We, we do have each other's numbers, but she did tell me about the fasting diet and how to go about doing it. I mean, there are different ways to do it, but you know, this one worked out best for me because I only eat once per day anyway, and it's not on purpose, but it's because I'll be so busy that by the time I eat, it's like in the evening, I just be going, going, going all day on like sometimes fumes or whatever. So the most I do is just drink water throughout the day or like a, like an iced coffee if I was doing that. So, um, Girl, I just I just did the fasting thing for a whole week. Um, so far, it's a little bit over. Oh, was it a week? It is a week, actually. But I like slipped up, so it is a week. I just eat between the hours of five and eight. Okay, and that's it. And last night I did slip up and didn't eat until nine. But what I've been eating anyway has been nothing but ah, my favorite Mediterranean salad. Um, I love Mediterranean salad. Um with spinach and feta cheese and sun-dried tomatoes oh my god it tastes so good but i do add a little bit extra to it which is artichoke oh it tastes so good and some chicken 
and um, that's what I add. So it has purple tomatoes or red tomatoes, whatever you want to call them. Excuse me, onions, purple onions or red onions, whatever you call they are. They're, they're purple, right? So that's in it, and it just tastes so good with a little bit of Caesar dressing. But yeah, I've been eating that, and um, I lost eight pounds. I was two, I was two twenty-seven. Okay, it got bad. It, it got bad for a girl. I was 227, so now I am 218. So is it? It's nine pounds actually. Okay, well, hey, <laughs> yes. And I'm just really hoping to keep up the good work, okay? I just really would like to keep up the good work. So I'm on my way to the gym, and um, that's it. And after I go to the gym, I actually have to go to the doctors across the street from my house and get my second dose of um, the COVID vaccine actually the doctor that my grandsons all my grandsons go to so being that i was there one day they asked me did i want a vaccine did i need a vaccine i didn't know that they did it there for non-children and you know it's free so of course i was like okay because everybody in my house has the vaccine like tiki has it mumsy and they have it so i didn't have it and i'm really kind of i don't know if i'm glad that i got it or not because i've never gotten sick like from any type of flu virus ever in my life knock on wood I don't think there's any wood here, but um, I have I have not ever been sick from any flu ever, and I've never had a flu shot in my life. So I just felt like you know I really didn't need it, um, but I got it anyway just because you know everyone in my household has it, and I felt like you know let me just be a little you know I don't want to say responsible or proactive because who's to say that's being responsible because you got a, a vaccine that you really might not even know anything about. But anyway, so that's what I have to do today. But I'm so happy that I lost some weight. And on top of that, my grandsons, I have both my grandsons at the house. I have my oldest one who I always bring to school. He has been with me for over a week because everyone in his house, except for him, has COVID. Yes, my son, his wife, my three-year-old grandson, and the baby have it. Um, but we don't really know if the baby has it because you can't test the babies. But... Um, he has he he was sick and he had a slight fever and stuff and now they're all fine the kids never even seemed like they had much of anything but my son he was sick for like a couple of days really down and he lost his taste and smell and then his wife she was like had a like a little slight cold for like two days and then you know she's fine the only thing that you know has lingered is she also lost her taste and smell so neither one of them can taste or smell anything. And I'm wondering, is my three-year-old grandson in the same predicament? Because he also tested positive. But I'm wondering, can he smell or taste? Because, you know, he's only three, so he can't really explain. Um, so my eight-year-old grandson, he's over here with me um, because, you know, they got COVID. So I was like, you know, let me get him, take him. So I'm not sure how he didn't get it, but maybe because he's always in his room playing the game and he also was going to school. The other two are the youngest and they stay like cuddled up underneath their parents. So I'm pretty sure that's how they, you know, caught on. But anyway, they've been over there playing, having a good time. You know, JJ and Tinky um, during the Christmas break. And um, they each got like a little gaming station, you know, cause they both have Xboxes. So, you know, they both got their Xboxes downstairs in the living room and I had to bring like my bathroom TV down. So JJ could have his own little section and, you know, he got a chair, a gaming chair, just play his games. And the Tinky's on the other side of the couch playing his games. It's like a cool little cute setup, you know, for the kids. So, you know, so that way they don't argue like, oh, I want to play my game. No, I want to play my game. And then, you know, with each game, you got to download it onto the system. So you got your system and you download it onto your game system. And Tinky got his. They got games. They got everything for Christmas. So they good. You know, I haven't been to the gym in a whole entire week. So I am really was disappointed in my up and I had to get up and I guess everybody else felt the same way too because they is it crowded it's probably like normal usual it might be a little bit extra people here today but um I'm gonna make the best of it and I'm gonna enjoy myself because like I said I haven't been to the gym in a whole entire week and I was kind of like disappointed in myself but I did have a lot of things that I needed to do so you know here I am got my hair in two cornrows ready to get it in and um, yeah, so I love you all and I will see y'all soon. Okay, you guys, so that was a nice workout. Girl, I sweated it out, y'all. Oh, child, I sweated it out. Y'all can't see the sweat, but honey, it is there. It's there. My shirt is wet. 
Look at that. Look at that nice sweat mark going across. That sweatband. Okay. I tried out my new waist cincher, waist trainer, what have you. Okay. So I got this new waist trainer. All right. And I'm really loving it because girl it's very comfortable and it does the job so i'm definitely going to link it below but i have to show you guys how it looks on but it is somewhat um you go by the size but it's not it doesn't have any type of like hooks it has it's all a velcro one of these okay i've been testing it out so this is actually the second third time i've worn it the first the second time i wore it i really can't count that as wearing it because girl i only got to work out for like 20 minutes and then i had to leave the gym and go do something for one of my kids so that was not really like i can't really say that was a workout but i did have it on and it did send me make me sweat because i was on that stair thing girl but you know the sizing you do have to size up you know somewhat so with that being said i highly suggest that you do your measurements because just don't go sizing up and just feel like oh i'm gonna size up you know i might have could gotten a 2x but I like the way you can really wrap it around onto yourself. You know what I'm saying? I like the way that you can really wrap it onto yourself. I'm gonna definitely link the company below, but it does have like the boning. There's three bonings right here, and this is on the sides, and this is the back one, and this is the other sides one. And then, you know, you take this part, and I'm parked because I'm here at Dunkin' Donuts. I have eight minutes to get to my destination, which is a mile and a half away. So this is my little sweatbands from that, this from this garment. And this one side, you just take it. And you can always tell which side is which because this side has the Velcro on it. So you're gonna know that you really want it to be facing outwards. You just take it and put it, and I just pull it as tight as I can. And then you have the outer ones. You do the same thing. And I wrap it. Oh, child. I'm just take this one. So this is what it looks like when you're wearing it. And it really does do the trick. I like I like this. I like this um waist trainer. Okay. It's not so uncomfortable to wear. You know what I'm saying? The boning is like digging in your sides. Or anything like I could wear this and breathe. I mean, I, I'm a little stiff, but I can still breathe. It's comfortable. This actually made me sweat a whole lot better than my latex um, waist trainer with the hooks. Like I love that one, but sometimes that can get really uncomfortable and really start digging into my flesh. Okay, and it starts to get really uncomfortable at the gym. So this one I actually really do like. It's actually been helping me sweat. It did. It gave me a nice little sweat thing today, and it's super easy to put on and take off. Girl, you can take this off while you're driving. Okay, there you have it. And got my DDs. They're making me real pissed off there. Okay. When I say they're making me pissed off at this new one, the other day I had to get my coffee made six times over. When I tell you it was six times, I, thought, I honestly thought it was four. But then when I started explaining it to my daughter, she was like, Mommy, that's six. So I was like, Oh, yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? It started off with me pulling up in the drive thru. I ordered it ahead of time. The girl, she gave me the order. You know, I drove off. Well, I didn't drive off. I'm like, where's the rest of my order, please? Which was two packs of two things of munchkins for my grandsons. She was like, oh, you ordered that? Yeah. It says it on the sticker. So I got it from the other lady. The lady came to the window. She was like, this is yours, right? I get it. Then I drop off. I get probably like about, probably like a quarter of a mile. Sip the iced coffee. Do a U-turn. Thank God there was no oncoming traffic on the opposite side. The coffee was so nasty. It was just like so bitter. It just was disgusting. So then I get back to the um, window. Now, first, wait, 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 wait. When she gave me, when I first got to the drive-thru, you know what I mean? She gave me the coffee. It was so light. It was like this color, okay? This is light. This is not cold brew, like a dark coffee, like not acceptable. So I was like, that coffee is really light. I said, and I only asked for one cream. It shouldn't be that light. So she was like, you want me to remake it? And I was like, yes, please. So then she remade it to me and I gave her a thumbs up because the color looked the color looked darker, richer. And then that's when I asked about my other portion of the order, other part of my order. So then when I drove off and I got a quarter mile down, I sipped the drink. Like, you know, this is the second one. This is the first one I would take. I was like, oh my God, this is so bland, it's so bitter, it's so nasty. So then I drive back, okay? And I give her the, I got the cup, okay, in my hand. And I'm looking at the sticker, like that sticker right there. And I'm like, this ain't even my order. This ain't my name. My name ain't Susan. Like, okay. 
So no wonder why the order was so light in the beginning because I got Susan shit. So then, and it was like some French vanilla and I don't drink that. So I go back and I give her to her. I was like, this wasn't even my order. Oh, it wasn't? No, it wasn't. Okay, you've been fixing up somebody else's order that didn't even belong to me. No wonder why it tastes so nasty, but it's not my order. So she was like, I'm so sorry. Would you like me to remake it for you? What do you fucking think? Why do you, why, you think I just came back here to tell you that this ain't my order? I didn't say any of that to her, but this is what I'm thinking. Like, you asked me the dumbest question ever, okay? So I just was like, yes, I, I would like that. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? So she gives me my order. And I'm like, oh my God, this is not, this is not it. She makes it, it's, it's not it. I'm like, this is not it. So then somebody else makes it, and then somebody else makes it. Like, it ended up being six times, like, ridiculous. So, yeah. Then when I go there today, I don't have time, because I got somewhere to be. Plus, there's, like, a million people in there right now. And I already made my order over the app. When I get in there, this is the color of it. It's not supposed to look like this. But you know what? I'm not about to sit here and keep telling you how to make a fucking cup of coffee when you work there. What I'm going to do is just not go back to that one no more. Even though it's the new one, I'm not going to fuck with them no more. Because I've had to do this with them four times already the first time i ever went the coffee was delicious it was perfect then the other times after that it just was like from downhill down all downhill on christmas day i wanted to get some iced coffee and donuts i almost did a mobile app with them thank god i did not because it was 36 dollars. i was buying two dozen donuts one for my house and one for my son and my iced coffee i drove up there Thank God, before I even pressed checkout and come to find out, they was closed but said it was open. So I ended up going to the original one that I always go to. And girl, they had digged the whole entire inside of the original DDs that I was been going to all over. It looks totally different. Another young lady that I knew from before works there still. And I had my coffee made there. And girl, let me tell you, mm, it was so good. It was delicious that day on Christmas. And I should have just went there today instead. But because this one was by the gym, I decided to try it out. But girl, listen, next time I won't, okay? Next time I won't. So now here I am. I am about to go get my second vaccine shot right now here at the doctor's. Good morning. Thank you. Just for my second shot. All right, guys. So here we go. She about to go get that needle and stuff, and then I'm gonna have to sit here for 15 minutes and wait. So that way, I guess you know I don't pass out nowhere. But um, that's okay because I'll just sit here and be on my phone, okay, and just chill for 15 minutes and drink this. Like so far, it's okay, but. Let me tell you, I love iced coffee and it, it helps with your digestive system, okay? It will have you go into the bathroom. But yeah, I'm about to get this shot. We're going to see how this, this go. But you know. Yeah, what kind of band-aid I got? Oh, I got one of those little Disney band-aids. Okay, so cute. So now I'm about to go home. And I guess I'm about to edit, finish editing a video that I have almost finished editing. I always say I don't want to do something, then I end up doing it. You know, you wake up in the morning, you be like, uh-huh, I can't wait to get home so I can take a nap. I'm so tired. It's, it's like one of those, one of those type of things. You know what I'm saying? It's like one of those type of days. So, I know I don't have my seatbelt on, but my house is actually less than a mile away right here at the light. You know, I doctor's office is right down the street. But, you know, I don't know. I might do it or not. It depends on how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, maybe not. But I do plan on recording some videos tomorrow. I really need to because I'm like almost fresh out. And that's a good thing because I, you know, I try to really, I try to finish what I've already started. Like, you know, when I say started, like I have like enough videos, enough re reviews that I need to finish. So I really sometimes just want to finish things. And I'm glad that I'm like almost at the end of where I have to, you know, I'm almost out of videos to upload, like hair reviews. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I hope you guys have a really great day whenever you're watching this. I love you all. And I will speak to y'all in the next one. I am on my way to the front door or to the driveway of my house. So, yes, you guys, I love you all. Bye.